Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Thank you so much for joining us. We are here with another interview on our series. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you stay locked in so you can meet these amazing people that I'm getting to meet with you. Some of them I already know because they are students in TonyGassesAcademy.com. So this is brought to you by TonyGassesAcademy.com. Now, today we have Miss Lisa. Miss Lisa, how are you? I'm doing good. And I am one of those students in, in Tony Gaskins Academy. I've taken um your life coaching um class and everything. So yeah, oh. I'm definitely a student. Oh. But I'm I'm doing well. Awesome. Thank you so much. Now, how long have you been, you know, with me? Like when did you bump into me online and all of those things? Tell me about that. Okay, so I bumped into your content online um, back in, I think it was, had to be 2019, could have been 2018. Um, you know, I was going through a rough patch in my life. I was, you know, separated from um, my then husband of 33 years. And um, I saw you online. I was following some other um, guys. Then I saw you and you were very funny. So I was like, I, I, I like this guy. <laughs> so I, I started following you from there. Oh, I've been, I've, you've been stuck with me ever since. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh -huh. Now, yeah. now that is a lesson in itself right there. What you said when you said 33 years, because sometimes people assume, Hey, mm -hmm. you get 10 years, you locked in for life. You get the 20 years. And I saw it in my own life with my parents. They were together like, 25 years and then just kind of, you know, grew yeah. apart. And so I saw that. So that that's a lesson in itself. So since then, how long have you been separated or divorced? Um, I got separated um, in 2019, divorced in 2020 during a pan pandemic. And um, so now I'm, um, I'm a divorcee. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Living your life. Living my life. <laughs> okay. Now, yes. now, where are you located? I'm from, I'm originally from a little town called Laplace, Louisiana, which is like 25 miles west of New Orleans. And right now I'm in Marietta, Georgia. So I moved to Georgia during a separation and um, I kind of stayed here and um, I plan on being here until I guess it's time to bury me. Then maybe I'll go back to Louisiana. Okay, okay. So <laughs> now you said Laplace. Now I know the people. If anybody is watching this and they are from Laplace or live right there, they're like, oh wow. Because I've never yeah. heard of that. I've never Yeah, it's a it's a small, small town um in the parish of St. John the Baptist. Um, so yeah, not not a lot of people know it. So when people ask me where I'm from, I gotta give that whole spiel, a small town called Laplace, because I don't want to claim New Orleans if I'm not really from New Orleans, but we're close to New Orleans. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So you got a little bit of that in you. That tells yeah. me you, you like an OG now. You like an original, because when you say, I don't want to claim New Orleans, I'm not really from New Orleans, because some people are claim somewhere they're not from. Right. And so, right. okay, so you just Just like I'm home. here in, in Marietta, and I don't say I'm from Atlanta. I'm um, I'm in Marietta, which is not far from Atlanta. So right, I see. I <laughs> like it. I like it. Now, so you saying Marietta is where you're going to be for some time? That's for the foreseeable That's, future. That's yeah, home. the Atlanta area may not be Marietta, but definitely Atlanta area. This is home now. Okay. Okay. And now, what is it that you do for you know your business or living? Okay, so I am a life insurance broker and I also am a legal shield associate. You ever heard of legal shield? I a long time ago I heard of legal shield and I was a part of legal shield. A long okay. time. Ago. Yeah, so it's been okay. around for a while. Yeah, so their their product is similar to life insurance because you really you're really offering something that's risk to help you handle risk. Mm -hmm. So it kind of fits in with life insurance. So I, I kind of added that product to um, my arsenal. Right, so right. Now, so now with the life insurance, 
how does that work for you being a life insurance broker? Can you work with people outside of Georgia or outside of Louisiana? Like, is it nationwide or is it just for? Yeah, I'm currently licensed because once you become a life insurance broker or life insurance agent, you have to take the test for the state that you're in. But after you are, you know, after you ha after you can sell that state, you don't have to take any other tests. You could just purchase all the other states. So I'm licensed in 13 different states now. So, um, yeah, so it's, yeah, okay. I, got, I got quite a few under my belt. Right. And now in the insurance, I know I've heard of like captive and non-captive. Mm -hmm. what, what does that mean and which one are you? Okay, so I am uh, independent broker so what that means is i can sell for different agencies i'm not captive to one agent agency so like a, a state farm um agent they can only sell state farm stuff but when you're a broker you can you can lock into any agency and sell you know for whoever you know you want to do you're not captive to one one um company right and i would imagine that's where the money is. Like yes. Being yeah. not being captive because you're able to. Now, of course, you can run it up if you're with just one company. Right. But you have more freedom when you can partner with different companies. Different companies. Correct. Their policy. Right. Yeah, you can make, you know, you can make a good living when you're captive as well. I mean, we know we know right. state form agents that are doing really well. Right. But you just have the freedom and the autonomy. If you want to do something else, you can when you're when you're not captive. Right. And you know what? What you're doing is it's it's I wouldn't say it's super popular, but it's growing. People are understanding like, hey, this can create a little freedom because I went through when I got my first life insurance policy, I went through an insurance broker. Okay. And it was like I went to their website and I put in the information and then it brought up a lot of different quotes mm -hmm. from a lot of different companies. And I and then basically their advice was we're bringing you the best. They're pretty much mm -hmm. all equal in our eyes. You can choose what works best for right. you. Yeah. When you're a broker, you're pretty much working for the client. When you're captive, you can only sell that company's policies. But when you're a broker, I can say, well, this one isn't, I don't want to do this one for you. Let's find something else. So it depends on the insured's, you know, the client's needs. And you can offer different products rather than try to fit them into the products, the limited amount of products that you do have to offer. Right. So, yeah. So now, you instead of you shopping around, the broker does the shopping around for you. Right. Now, have you heard of any statistics on even like black people in general uninsured? Like, have they, do they give y'all when y'all taking the test or you getting licensed? Do they say like, hey, X amount of people are uninsured, don't have life insurance. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard any statistics like that on it? Um, the statistics are out there. I don't have that number, but I do know that I see too many times, too often people after their loved ones die doing GoFundMe. So if you are doing a GoFundMe, that means you didn't have a policy. Uh -huh. So I see that very, very, very often. And a lot of people kind of wait until they need it. And then once you really need it, it's harder to get uh -huh. when you're young and you're healthy, that's the best time to get it because you have better options when you buy insurance at a young age. Um, in my agency, we say there's like four different kinds of um, policies. And if I had to dip, if I had to um, compare them to like vehicles, there is the Camry, which is, you know, offers you some, you know, benefits where you can have like a return. I don't want, I don't want to bore you, but anyway, you can have like a return no, on no, no. premium. <laughs> you can have like a return on premium, you know, that's the Camry. And, you know, you can have a Lexus, which offers you a little more um, flexibility. You have living benefits. And what living benefits is, if, you know, if you 
get sick or if you get um, terminally ill, your policy will pay for that. So they offer living benefits. The policy that most people know of is what we call in our agency, the Pinto, which is where it only has a death benefit. So if you wait until you're or 50, 60, 70, that's the only, usually the only option for you when you could have started younger and you could have had more benefits because, you know, people use life insurance, like the, the top 1% use life insurance as a savings plan. And people don't really know about that. So it's for like retirement income where you can you know, put money in and your money continues to compound and grow. It's protected from the market where you won't have any, um, you know, you, like if the market goes below zero, you will, you'll be at zero. So you will, you know, you, it's protected from um, Law. lawsuits. Yeah. Lawsuits and you are pre protected from the market. So mm -hmm. it's better when you get it when you're younger. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I have heard a lot about that. And mm -hmm. that that is something that we don't really think about. And I mm -hmm. I started to think about that some years back. And mm -hmm. and I personally went with different a few different companies just because I didn't want to put all my eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. So I have several life insurance policies with good, good for you. And because you're young. Companies. Right, you got it when, it when it's most beneficial for you and your family. Right, so, right. Good for you. So, individuals throughout America, well, thirteen states. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many of them do you know off the top of your head, or do you know all thirteen? Yeah, I have Ohio, Georgia, Louisiana, Texas, Florida. I have South Carolina. I have um, Detroit or well, Michigan. Um, Maryland, those are the ones that kind of off the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Count, I counted eight. So, um, we'll be able, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. we'll be able to get a list from you, and okay. I can put that in the description, or we'll have your email contact, and people can okay. reach out to you. Yeah, I really could. Like, if someone is not in one of the thirteen states that I am licensed in, I can just pay to get a license in that state mm -hmm, whenever, mm -hmm. you know whenever I have an interest in that state so right and I, I love the fact that yeah you got to pay to get a license in another state mm -hmm. but you got to do that and I, I love that integrity of it to where you can't just take one test and then now you license for the whole country oh, right no you you take a test in, right in your home state and then as you grow or as you, you know, would like to um service other areas, then you get licensed in those in those places. Right, right. I like that. And now did you get into this, like the insurance brokering, did you get into this while you were married or after your marriage? After my marriage, I uh, um I got into life insurance. Before that I was in I was in insurance, but I was in insurance claims. So um, I actually saw this Company. guy. I learned a lot of stuff online. So I saw this guy online talking about, you know, he was a relationship kind of, I ain't going to say expert, but he talked a lot about relationship. And that's what kind of got my attention to him. And he was a, he is a life insurance. Um, he has an agency. So I, you know, listened to him and I was like, you know, maybe I could do that. I'm already in insurance. So I did that following the advice of the guy who I was following um, regarding relationships. Okay, I see. So, yeah. so I became I... licensed in 2021. Mm, okay, mm -hmm. and that's that's a good thing. I wanted to point to that because this is something that you can do like to help sustain yourself. And yes. a lot of times people are looking for things to get into. So now if someone wanted to take your same route or if there's a slightly different route, would you be able to consult them on how to get into it? Oh, most definitely. I work with an agency that is a training agency. Um, if someone wants to learn the business, that's what we're there for. So yeah, I can take them by the hand and and help them to get into the into the industry. So, right. Yeah. 
It's oh. a very lucrative industry. Not, I'm not going to say everybody is successful. It's work, but it, it can, it has the opportunity um, to change, to change your life financially, honestly. I have heard a lot about the success side of it because there are a lot of individuals, not a lot, but there are individuals online who have an online brand, like a podcast or like you said, relationship coaching, but mm -hmm. behind the scene, they have an insurance agency. Right. Yes. Right. And I have seen that. And I've seen some individuals with their insurance agency cross on over into the millions. And oh, yes. Most earning, definitely. You know, millions a year. And it is very real. And so I respect it. And I've actually myself, ironically, been talking to a gentleman who he is in a company that they do financial services. Okay. that And that's it, what we do too. Exactly. In those financial services, you have the insurance policies, the term mm -hmm. life, the whole life and yes. annuities and all these different things. So he's been talking to me about me starting my own agency, but I haven't oh. had the time and the bandwidth and the energy, nor do I really have the desire. So that's why I'm glad you're the gotcha. first, you're the first insurance broker that I've talked to on this series. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hopefully the first batch of folks going to come to you and I don't, I don't know if we have another insurance broker down the line who may be in different states or what have you. So mm -hmm. that's a, a great thing. Now, on a more intricate level, mm -hmm. help me understand from what from your understanding. If let's say. I come to you. And I say, Lisa, I want to do a $500,000 term life policy mm -hmm. for 20 or 30 years. Now, as an insurance broker, for someone who wants to do what you do and they're going to come to you and hire you $50 an hour or $100 an hour to be their consultant so that they don't make any mistakes getting into it, mm -hmm. how much could the agent expect to make is from signing someone up for a policy is it a percentage or how does that work yeah so it depends on the the person's health their age and you know other factors that go into it so um it's so i, I can't really put a number on it like you can make the one policy um i made like six thousand dollars commission on mm. just for an example and that was a i think that was a uh, eight hundred thousand dollar policy mm, okay so, but yeah so but the numbers can be different because it depends on the person's age and how much is it how much is commissionable um premium because sometimes when you have someone who's older and they want to get one of these policies that's going to pay them you know the the compounding interest you have to structure it kind of differently and a lot of the premium that goes in is not commissionable because of their age, because the insurance company has to protect themselves too. So, you know, a lot, sometimes you're not paid on the full premium price because their age and their health is a factor. Mm -hmm. So, but just for an example, I've, I've gotten a $6,000 commission off of 800,000, 800,000 in coverage, but that mm -hmm. was for a, you know, somebody who's older. Right. Okay. Yes. And mm -hmm. now, so would it have been more if the person was 30 years old? Yes. Okay. Yes. Your commission. Because, yeah, the company. Yeah, because if you're you're older, you're let's face it, you're closer to, to death. Right. In the insurance in the insurance company's eyes. So they, you know, put their numbers in and do the actuary and all that kind of stuff. And they come up with a figure as to like, you know, this person's um this person's life expectancy is this. And this is why, you know, we can give you this much, much commission because we know that we can make this amount, you know, it's so it, it all depends on age and health and whether they're a smoker, all of those things. Right. And now, of course, we don't know the person. So we just talking about numbers. 
But let's mm -hmm. say I'm kind of throwing this out there and we're just talking ballpark. So uh -huh. that's an $800,000 policy. And let's say the person is 60 years old mm -hmm. and they're in decent health. Mm -hmm. How much just ballpark guesstimate we know is, you know, different. How much per month would that person be looking to pay on a 800K policy as a 60-year-old? A 60-year-old, I don't want to give you any bad information, but I do know if you're wanting a policy that's in like an IUL policy, uh, index um, universal life policy, if you don't have at least five or 600 a month at that age, then, you know, it, it doesn't even make sense. I mean, it'll have the death benef benefit, but the benefit of the um, the growth over time and your savings and retirement and that kind of stuff, it, it wouldn't, um, if you don't have at least 500 a month, then, you know, you would probably mm. not want to even go into that because it's not going to, it's not going to give you the return that you would probably expect. Right, right. And you know, it has to sit there. It has to, you have to put it in there and let it sit. We have to give, you have to give us at least about 10 years right. for the growth potential. Yeah. So if you're 60, you know, we're going 70 something now and, you know. Mm, I see. Now, mm -hmm. I, I'll share this from my as a specific one, my first policy that the next couple I didn't really pay attention to because I was at a different level of income. So I wasn't really counting the monthly thing. I was like, I just need the policy. But the yes. first one, I did a $2 million term life policy and my monthly fee is $123. Yes. And at that, I felt you know, and that's with uh, banner insurance, which I did not really super big. Right. But, and, and it's no, it's, I think it's 30 years. It's no like return of premium or anything like that. Now, okay. I have a return of premium one as well with State Farm. And okay. that one is more per month, you know, okay. like I got to pay more money because return of premium. Right, right. And then with the IULs, I've been talking a lot about it with, with a gentleman that I know, but mm. I haven't fully wrapped my head around it to uh -huh. get into it. And, okay. and I have another term, life, that's no return of premium. And I just kind of did it because it was like an internet new pop-up company. I think it's called Ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, Ladder. Okay, well, I haven't heard of them. Yeah, they're kind of like a new, like a, a tech one to where okay. I don't think I I don't think I had to do any like blood blood test blood okay. work like with the first one and with State Farm. And yeah, so a lot of times when you're not doing blood work, it's because they're just gonna tack that um amount into the premium because you know they they're they're just gonna put that risk in there since they didn't do that blood work. You know. Right, right. And so now, what is let's what would you say is the average amount that mm. if someone just said, hey. If I die within the next 30 years, I want my next of kin to get X amount of dollars. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the average number you see people signing up for? In life? Um, okay. It depends. See, I don't I hate to keep saying it depends, but it's mostly what like their goals and what they want. Like some people, they want to be able to pay off their mortgage, so that so their their you know significant other won't have any issues keeping up the payment. So um so but so it's kind of all over the place. It depends on the person. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you're just trying to get amount for for burial, I would say twenty thousand dollar policy is you know that's a that's about what the cost of a funeral and a burial is. But um yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't want to give a number and then somebody, you know, latches onto that number and then it's not right for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's the thing with this is a lot of people don't have any number. And right. that that's the issue. And so that's why I asked that question is because most people, because of not knowing what number to do, they, yeah. they do no number. But right. what, what I have seen 
with I've I've talked to two people that I could think of off the top of my head who benefited from mm -hmm. their parent having life insurance. Right. And, and with that with that, what we would do is what we call a dime analysis, and that's your debt, income, mortgage. And your education expenses, like if you have kids who are going to be going to college, you just add all of those things up. And L is for legacy. So it's DIMO. L for legacy, like the amount you want to leave behind. So you tally up all, all of those things to come up with a number of how much insurance you need for whatever your goals are. Mm. You know, some people are like, well, I don't, I'm not trying to put my kids through college. So leave that education blank. Or, you know, I'm, my wife is on her own if I leave then. You know, I'm not trying to factor in the mortgage costs. So it depends on whatever they, um, the client wants. Right. And you know what? Another thing I want to address with this is how we got to get beyond that fear and, mm -hmm. and that scarcity mindset. Because I see people who are in the blessed tribe, which is $1.99 a month to $3.50 a month. Mm -hmm. and, and there's months that people will write in and say, hey, I need to cancel it. I can't afford it. And so yeah. that's what also happens with life insurance. People don't understand, like, this is an expense you have to afford, no this matter what. If you got to go outside and hold a cup for a day, yeah. <laughs> get that $10, $15, you got to afford this if you're leaving somebody. Right. With if you got yes. your drink, if you cancel... Yeah, if you had a policy like when you were in your in your thirties or forties, and that policy cancels, and now you're fifty, so that premium is gonna gonna go up because now you're older. So mm -hmm. you know you want to protect it. You know you got it while you were young. Try to keep it so that premium don't don't skyrocket because your age did, and your health declines. You know sometimes when you're older, so that'll go into a premium cost too. So if you have it already. Try your best to keep it, like right. drive Uber or, or, or something so that you can pay for it. Right. Just <laughs> especially. So that's now me personally, when, when I got my first life insurance policy, my dad said to me jokingly, but kind of seriously, mm -hmm. it was it was two million dollars. He said, he said, son, <laughs> say, I'd be worried about my wife putting the hit on me <laughs> <laughs> because. That's what it's life insurance is so foreign to some people that yes. when I started racking up life insurance, I started looking at my wife like, like, girl, I hear you. Like, like why, are you, <laughs> why are you giving me this fried chicken? Why are you giving me, you're trying to get me out of here early. <laughs> <laughs> and so I want us to, to get beyond that. So what we're going right. to do, Lisa, is I'm going to put, your information that you give me that your okay. contact information that you're okay with people having whether okay or what have you i'm gonna put that in the description of our interview so okay. that those who are interested in finding out if your company provides services or if you provide services for their state they can reach out okay that's if good. that's a state that you're interested in adding you say you can add that state and because the thing about why I'm doing this, too, is some people, they may want a service and they could just go to Google. But, right. but when they see somebody, they know me and they know where my mindset is and what how I talk and think and believe. Mm -hmm. they, can, they can at least say, well, OK, Lisa, if you put up with Tony and listening to him, it, and he talk and think like this, then maybe uh -huh. you have some of the same beliefs. Same be beliefs and qualities. Right. So they'll rather talk to you than just going to Google and meeting a complete stranger who might right. be right. Totally and I tell you what I tell you else what else, um, Tony, that your work has done for me because I did when I was going through my um my separation, divorce, whatever, whatever phase it was, I did a one on one call with you and you helped me out tremendously you probably don't remember because i remember telling you that i got married when i was 16 years old and you was like is that even legal and yeah so <laughs> yeah. 
But um, honestly, you, you've helped me out. I took your coaching program. I've been through several of your co co um, courses. I've also like binge watched you online. So anybody who's looking at this that doesn't know Tony, um, you need to get to know Tony because he is the truth. And, you know, he's somebody that you can can count on to give you the real and raw and true information. Because I did follow a couple of other people that turned out to be a little, little, little sketchy. Right. But, you know, Tony's been true ever, ever since I, ever since I met him. So. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And you know what? By you saying that it's those type of comments that keep me on the straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know the devil try to get on this shoulder oh right yeah yeah oh I yeah you go over there hey this is what tony did so that's what keep me on the straight and narrow knowing that people want to bump into people who have integrity and that's yes. why i wanted to do this series as well so thank you so much for joining us because this is something it's you know you got to get out your comfort zone you got to get out there yes. You know, you're investing in yourself and your business and you're building it. This is a part of the marketing strategy mm -hmm. of building a business. Yes. And so I'm praying for clients to be coming your way. And awesome. now awesome. you never know. I might become one of them. I might become All one right. of them. All right. Just let me know. I'm, I'm ready. I'm here for yeah. you. Because I want to learn more about that IUL. Okay. And I know in insurance, the deeper you get, the longer you've been in it you learn more. So of course yes. you've been in it for a few years. So you may say, Hey, if insurance is like kindergarten through bachelor's degree, I'm in middle school, but yeah. then there may be somebody who they've done every kind of policy under the sun. And so they mm -hmm. may have their bachelor's degree in it. So I right. know it gets deep. And so it me does. and the guy that I work with who owns the agency, he's, just under 20 years he is a beast um at designing these policies and that's who i look to to make sure because i just i want to make sure my clients are taken care of so he is um always he looks over everything that new agents do um and he he helps design policies that are you know best for the client and he is he's amazing he's been in this for 20 years so yeah, I, don't, let the, put, don't let the 2021 fool you because you know, we will design a policy that is to your to your liking and to your advantage. Right. And see, and y'all put people with different companies. So like if I say, hey, I see what y'all done sent me. I want to mm -hmm. go nationwide. Is that somebody? I'm just throwing out a name. Yeah, we, were na we have nationwide. So if you if like if you want to have nationwide, then we will consider that. And and if that's who you you know, that's the person, that's the company that you want to go with. If there's another company, we will advise you to let you know, well, if you go with Allianz, Allianz has this, that and the third. And, you know, but if you like, nope, I want nationwide. We give you what is your money, your policy, your spending. We're not going to put you in something that you don't want to be in. Even right. if we feel like it's, you know, best for you, we can all we can do is advise. Right. And the reason why I say that is because mm -hmm. I know sometimes people, when they get some quotes, they try to find the name that they've heard or something because yeah. you want to make sure the company is not going to be insolvent. And, in, you know, when it's time for yours to get cashed out, the company then disappear yes. some kind of way and uh -huh. they just weren't, you know, set up right. And so that's right. that's something that I always want people to be mindful of is that sometimes the newer, the better, the shinier may not have the longevity that right. a company that's been around for 200 years and they don't give as good a deals because they're like, we proven. We don't have right. to right. bend over backwards because we we going to be here. Where this company that's got this shiny object for you they might be gone in five years, 10 years. Yeah, we don't, we work with only A rated carriers. So that's, that's good. That's, that's good. people who are, have a solid financial backing. So right. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. I know we went over a little bit, but I was still okay. in this knowledge for myself. And uh, we're definitely going to, I'm going to get your information from you for the description box so people could reach out to you. 
And okay. I really appreciate you. And I'm can with you. Plug one more thing. Can I yeah. plug one more thing in for you? Yeah. Okay, so I'm coming out with a program because I've been through, you know, my issues with my divorce. Um, I'm coming up with a program. It's launching in maybe a month or two. It's um, EmbraceHer.Life. It's for women who want to get their self together financially, start a business. It's um it's a membership um platform. So it's embraceher.life. So we can plug that into it's not here yet, but the website is live. It's um so you can go there and check it out. So um yeah. That, and that's I love it. the dot life because I use Yes. I mean, and I got that from you. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Embrace her dot life. Thank you yeah. so much and God bless you and we'll be in touch. All right. Thank you so much, Tony. Awesome.